So in this video, we will be talking about how to solve exponential equations using logarithms and also how to solve them using basic exponential properties. So we are going to start with a relatively simple equation. 2 to the power of x is equal to 4. So here we could automatically see that 2 is a solution. So we can automatically just assume x is equal to 2. But how would you show your work if you were asked to find x and show your work? Well, we see 4 is the same thing as 2 squared. And that means we could basically replace 4 with 2 squared, giving us 2 to the power of x is equal to. 2 to the power of 2. And since we already have the same base, we can go ahead and just look at the top parts or the exponents. And with that, we're going to see that x is equal to 2. Because we have 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2. So that means that we have 2 as our base, and our exponent is x. And in order to make the equation satisfied, we have to basically copy the exact same thing we see on here on the right side and copy it onto the left side. So we see that if we just put x is equal to 2, it's going to just be 2 squared is equal to 2 squared, which is indeed true. So that is a relatively simple one. And we're also going to solve it using logarithms and a natural log as well but first we're just going to look at the main property of a log so we start off with log base of b is equal to c and in most of the time most of the time in curriculums you're going to see that you have a as your base and it's going to go in a circle where a is raised to the power of c and c is basically the output they're going to get so in order to have a little bit of practice we're going to look at log 10 which is the standard log you'll see of x is equal to 2. so we want to go ahead and find x and we'll have 10 to the power of 2 is equal to 100. So now that we have 10 to the power of 2, we're just going to basically place our answer inside of the x, where we get log 10 of 100 is equal to 2. And here we could break up 100 into 10 squared. So we have log of 10 squared is equal to 2. And the, a property of logs tells us that when we have an exponent inside of the parentheses, we have to move it to the front of the log. So we have 2 times log 10 of 10. And since we have the same base and the same x value, there isn't going to make 1. So we see that 2 times 1 is just equal to 2, which does indeed give us 2. So with that out of the way, we have little bit of practice using logs since we looked at one example and we'll go ahead and look at another example so that it's not too difficult and now we'll go ahead and look at another difficult one so we have log 2 of x is equal to 5 so what we do is just take 2, raise it to the 5th power, and just find out what 2 to the power of 5 is, which is 32. And that's basically what x is. Log 2 of 32 is equal to 5. So you already get the hang of it since we're just taking a to the power of c is equal to b. And that's all we're really doing. But what if you have x on the outside or x somewhere like 
the base x and 2 is equal to let's see 1 so what we want to do is go ahead and take x to the power of 1 and then you're basically going to have 2 is equal to x to the power of 1 and basically now you have to solve for x which in this example we have x to the power of 1 is x so we get that x is equal to 2 which does make the equation true since we have log 2 of 2 it makes 1 so that's a simple one we'll also go ahead and look at a rather difficult one now where we have 1 over 4 is equal to 2 now we're just going to take x to the power of 2 or x squared is equal to 1 over 4 and we're going to have two different solutions but we have to verify which one is true since we're taking x to the power of 2 we're going to have x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 over 4 which if we simplify gives us plus or minus 1 half so now what we want to do is go ahead and verify that by looking at the two solutions so we're going to have where it is positive and negative so now we're going to go ahead and test out which of the solutions is true and which is not so we're going to go ahead and make a little red line to distinguish which one is which and here we have one half or log one half of one fourth is equal to equal to two and log one half of one half to the power of two is the same thing as 1 over 4, where we get 2 log 1 half of 1 half, which just becomes 1, so we don't need to have that anymore. So we have 2, which is equal to 2, which is true. So we have that. Let's go ahead and test out the negative solution, where we will get log of negative 1 half of 1 over 4 is equal to we don't know what it is equal to yet so we'll just go ahead and do what we did so we have 2 of log 1 half or negative 1 half of 1 half and we see that they are negative so we know that this is not going to give us our proper solution because the base and the number inside are not the same so with that we basically say that x cannot equal negative one half and that is how we go ahead and look and solve these types of equations when we have something like x being the base and we look for x but we could tell which is the solution and which is not and with this we have that x cannot be one half so cross this out and in general just cross out the answer that we had and we're just going to have x is equal to one half so that is how we go ahead and solve logs that have x as a and we're going to have logs with well we're going to be solving equations using logs now since we know a little bit of the properties and we'll go ahead and solve this one so let's go ahead and take the log of we'll see how we could solve it easier but we're going to take the log of 10 which we don't need to write down because that is a basic log of 2 to the power of x is equal to log of 4 and we just move x to the front so we move x to the front giving us x of log of 2 is equal to log of 4 
with that we basically divide by log of 2 giving us x is equal to log of 4 divided by log of 2 so seeing that we get what our solution is in terms of log and we could basically put, plug this into a calculator and we would get our solution is basically equal to 2 so that's how we are able to tell what this is but if we want to go ahead and get a common factor what we're going to do is look at log of 4 so we have log of 2 squared of log of 2 and moving the 2 to the front we get 2 log of 2 divided by log of 2 and now we can go ahead and cancel out because that is going to give us our solution which is 2 since we have log of 2 and log of 2 on the denominator and numerator it is going to be canceled out due to the multiplication property because if it was 2 plus log of 2 divided by log of 2 we wouldn't be able to cancel out because it is binded by the addition property which we can't go ahead and just factor out a common factor so easily so we have to be sure not to confuse 2 plus log of 2 and 2 times log of 2. So when we have a fraction like this, we cannot make it 2. So let's just write that. So let's go ahead and look at the more faster method of solving that exponential equation. So what we could immediately immediately do from the start is look at the base of of what we're trying to find. Since we're trying to find x, we're gonna to have to look at the number under x, which is two. So we're going to, that means we have to take the log of two of two to the power of x is equal to log two to the power of four. Moving x to the front will give us x log 2 of 2 is equal to log 2 of 2 squared. And we can see that this is going to give us x because log 2 of 2 is 1 is equal to 2 log 2 of 2, which is just going to give us 1 giving us x is equal to 2. We were able to get x much more simple, simpler and faster by taking the log of the number under x and going ahead and solving simply by just factoring and turning our solutions into perfect squares. So that is the fastest way to do it. And we also have natural logs as well, which is detonated by the expression ln of x. And it works like a log, but this is the same thing or equivalent to as log e of x, where e is Euler's number, 2.71 dot dot dot. So that is what the natural log is. And to understand what it is, to see what's the difference between a log and the natural log. And we can go ahead and solve this by using the natural log. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So we're gonna take the natural log of both sides where we have ln of two to the power of x is equal to ln two squared. We're just gonna do that step already. Then we're gonna move x to the front, x ln of two is equal to two ln of two. Dividing by two by ln of two, we see that we have ln of two on the bo both sides of the equation. So we have x is equal to two ln of two over ln of two, which is going to cancel out, giving us 
simply two. So we found two and every different possible way we were able to have found it. And th there's infinitely many solutions to when solving logarithms. You could take log A of any number where A could be a number like 500 or 200. And we could go ahead and just take make A equal any number. and just solve for x. But since we want to solve it quickly, we're just gonna take the log of the number under the x to solve it within like two or three steps. And we're going to go ahead and look at a few more examples. So here we're going to have two to the power of two x is equal to 18. And here we can see that this is 18 is not a perfect square since it's going to be three squared times two. And that is basically going to give us that we can't solve this using the other method where we just make this into a perfect square. So that means that we have to use a natural log or a log, but we're going to use log two of two to the power of two X is equal to log two of 18. And here we can go ahead and move 2x to the front, having log 2 of 2 cancel out, giving us 1. And here we could just write log 2 of 18. And we could just divide by 2. 2 of 18 divided by 2, which is going to give us our solution. So that's how we are able to tell when we can have a perfect square and when to use logs because the number that you're looking for and having x and you're finding x you cannot have 18 as a perfect square in this example and you can't basically reduce it like we did with four so we are only able to reduce one four nine sixteen twenty five 36, 49, 64, 81, and so on. Because these are all perfect squares. So with that in mind, we see that 18 was not in the list, so we cannot reduce it. And that tells us we have to use logs in order to solve several exponential equations. And we're going to go ahead and look at an exponential equation with e. So we're going to have e to the power of x minus 2 is equal to 1. We're going to look at a relatively simple example. So we basically take the natural log because e is going to cancel out with ln because they have the same base. So that is going to give us x minus 2 is equal to ln of 1, which is the same thing as 0. So we have x is equal to 2 because any natural log or log of 1, anything that has 1 inside, is always going to equal 0. Because if we have ln is equal to something, then it's going to give an input and an output. But since we have ln to the power of 1, we basically have e to the power of 0, which is the same thing as 1, since e is down here. And if we take e to the power of 0, we're going to get 1, which is basically a rule for any exponent, since we have a to the power of 0 is 1, x to the power of 0 is 1, z to the power of 0 is 1, that's just a rule that you should come into memory. So we have that when e to the power of x minus 2 is equal to 1, we basically have to have 0 on the top. So anytime you're given something like e to the power of 66x minus 4, 
is equal to one. Just go ahead and solve the top where we have 66 X minus four, where we just have X is equal to 64, no four over 66, which could be reduced to two over 33. So that is how we solve any exponential equation with its number on the left equaling one. So that's a quick tip. So you never get confused. Now we'll go ahead and look at a much more difficult one. So we have e to the power of x minus four is equal to three to the power of two. So we want to go ahead and see how we could solve this. Or actually, let's just go ahead and add a four to the front of the e plus two plus that. So we want to go ahead and expand three squared, which is nine. And we want to subtract two from both sides so we could get four e x minus four is equal to nine minus two which is seven. And we can divide by four since it's going to be easier for us to take the natural log. So we have e to the power of x minus four is equal to seven over four. Where now we can take the natural log. So we just have x minus four is equal to natural log of seven over four and x is equal to the natural log of seven over four plus four. So that is one, that is the solution we get when solving for this exponential equation, which there could be more hard ones, but it's just a matter of practice with logs since all you're doing is just taking natural logs and logs and just solving for x. And here we will go ahead and look at one more before we go ahead and end the video. So let's go ahead and look at 2 plus 6 to the power of x minus is equal to 49. So here, what we want to do is go ahead and subtract 2 from both sides, where if we do, we're basically going to get 6 to the power of x minus 3 is equal to 47. And now we're just going to take the log of six. So we're just gonna have x minus three is equal to log six of 47, giving us x is equal to log six of 47 plus three. And this example, we're just gonna go ahead and verify that this is a solution. So we want to go ahead and see how we can get this as a whole number, giving us 49. So first we want to go ahead and plug in x for x at the top of the exponent. So we have 2 plus 6 times log. 6 of 47 plus 3 minus 3. We're not going to say equal to 49 because we don't know if it's true yet. So you have to go ahead and verify our solution. And we also have to add the exponents where we have plus 3 and minus 3, which is going to give us 0. So we will get 2 plus 6 log. 6 of 47, which we see that 6 to the power of log of 6 is just going to cancel out because I have the same base. 
dropping down to 47, giving us 2 plus 47, which is the same thing as 49. So that is how we are able to verify our solution and how we can find x for any type of exponential equation. And I will make a video separately on how to solve logs next. But if you want a few practice problems just to practice exponents, and here are some. No. D to the power of x minus 4 is equal to 81. And 4x minus 1 half is equal to 2 squared and e to the power of 6x plus 8 is equal to 12. And the final one is going to be a difficult one. So we have 1 plus 4e to the power of one half of x minus three over seven is equal to one over five. So there are some practice problems for you to try. And like always, I hope you enjoy the video and enjoy the rest of your day.